Yeah. Yeah, I've had a huge deal about it being Chardonnay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the only one. Who do you I work know. for? We are back again with another edition of Blind Wine Tasting, and we've got a special little treat for you. Uh, thanks to our friends at Sometimes Always. Uh, if you sign up to our Discord channel, you can get a cheeky little discount code for all of the wines that we try on this show. There's 10% off. All you need to do is sign up to our Discord channel, and you can get a sneaky little deal on these awesome little wines. Without further ado, let's taste some wine. Another week, more wine, more drinking. See, we've got, looks like, a predominantly red lineup this week. All right, cool. Wow, that's a banger. Straight up, dude. Like, first first wine, straight off the bat. Well, we're off to an absolute fly, I reckon. This is smelling fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it is yummy, though. Quite a dry red. Oh, I need to keep... I need to stop saying things are good before they've started developing my mouth. That's fun. It's high acid, moderate tannin. It's got a bit of maturation on it. I like this one. Uh, it's really cool. It's got this like cool like cherry thing, bit of grip, bit of tannin, bit of structure. It's almost like ashy or chalky note that comes towards the end of it, which is quite common in a lot of red wines that I've had, and it's something that I don't really like in red wines. Nothing outrageously serious. This could be anything. Uh, I, it's not really screaming, which like screaming its variety or where it's from or anything like that. I think it's delicious, and I think it's forty dollars a bottle, uh, and I would totally grab like at least six bottles. This looks fun. Definitely a bit unfiltered, purpley, ready. Mmm, that smells delicious. Oh yeah, cool. So we're sort of in sort of Pinot Grenache territory. This is a quiet wine. It's really, this is very shy. Mm. Definitely a little bit acidic. Oh, almost a little bit too much acidity for me, to be honest with you. That's really interesting. This is um, a little power packet of a little wine. It's just, it's like when you meet it's someone new in the workplace, it's very introverted. At, up front, you're like, I don't know if they like me, but if you have a few more sips over time, it definitely warms up. I think this facial expression that I've got, the like lowered eyebrow, I can't not have that on my face drinking that. Tannin for days, really unctuous, crunchy tannin. So for that reason, 12 bottles, because I want to sell her some. Every sit I try this it's just getting more interesting yeah it feels around that mid tier again so I'm gonna go $40 I like it more than the first one but it still only needs I only need a bottle of it I don't need more okay this smells like I'm gonna like it Pinot <laughs> it's just got that whole bunch Pinot character that is very very inviting super savory uh, that is like a maro bitter herb. We're talking about cumin spice. This is, yeah, this is great. I'm so about this. That's juicy. It's, oh. It's dainty and French and like so beautiful and light and pretty. Really interesting tannin profile. It's full, it's sparkly, it's it's uh, littered uh, across the palette. Man, I hope it's cheap. It's not gonna be cheap, but man, I hope it's cheap. No, like, in comparison to that last one, this is not quite as, like, I guess, interesting, uh, but this is probably more, more drinkable. Uh, we'll drop 40 bucks a bottle. We'll grab six bottles. Really interesting, but stupidly tasty. Like, ex extremely good. Oh, deep red if the last one smelled really like fruity and wholesome this one smells fruity and dangerous really fine graphite <laughs> this is a serious wine yeah, fuck this is really delicious <laughs> this is this smells these are all really good um spoke too soon this is very good as well wow i can't go three dozen in a row can i like these three wines have just been next level all the styles of wine that i really really love to drink this is a lot of fun. This is like where people are like, oh, I want to drink juice. You know, like the cool hipster kids are all about drinking that juice. This is what we're probably talking about. Yeah, I'm going to say $60 again, and I want another dozen of it. It's got these, these really robust round tannins, beautiful blue fruit drive, and I would totally grab 12 bottles. Not that I believe that this has cellaring ability. It's because I would consume it with monotonous regularity. All right, number five. A bit darker, still, still a bit blue fruited. Interesting. I wanna, I, I wanna know what uh, what Henry says about this wine because it smells like it smells like barbecue chips. It smells like chips or something. I feel this one probably has a little bit more complexity to it. Really tasty. I think this is suffering from coming after like the best of the best. There is a complexity to the aroma. There's a complexity to the palate. It's got an incredible amount of length. Nice little cherry pucker, cool little Moorish tannins. Front of the palate, vibrant, 
fruity uh, grape juice flavors. Back of the palate, like licking cat. Uh, it's got it for days. This has all the little aspects, the little ticks that we want to see in really fine, well-made wine. Uh, if it's any less than $70, you're getting a bargain. Very, very tasty. I really like it. I'm gonna say three bots for me. Some kind of medium to light bodied blend, but maybe. I'm not too sure exactly, but I really like it. Next up, number six. First white of the day. Finally a white one, now that my mouth has been destroyed by tannin. Crystal clear brilliance, very, very bright, very crispy. Cool, that's, mate, if that is not Fiano, I don't know what is. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Every white wine I try is Chardonnay. I think this is gonna be a Chardonnay as well. It's almost like this saline, sardine-like flavor. It could be Vermentino. That, uh, that is incredible. That is tasty, delicious Fiano for sure. Um, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite of the ones that we tried. That does. I say it's Chardonnay because I think it's buttery. It, like after that, this is just refreshing, and it is that kind of fish and chippy beach wine for sure. Yeah, hands down. That's cool. That's fun. Uh, that is textural white deliciousness. Actually, I have quite a strong feeling it's Fiano. I want some oily, oily fish with this white bait. Like fried white bait would be so good. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, yes, uh, $35 a bottle, uh, 12 bottles, hands down. This has a wonder, wondrous waxy texture. Really, really classy winemaking. But uh, let's see what the other guys say. Uh, this week, this was cool. This might be the best lineup we've had so far. But let's start off with uh, wine numero uno. Yep. Number one, where were we at? They're aligned. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's well that, is a, that is a big call, that's 58 cute. for a wine like that. That's a big call. What is this? Pinot. No. Is this, is this Berg? No. It's Berg. Oh, it's a Begonia Septem September Edward Delo De Delaunay. De 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 Delaunay. Pretty good at 58. Uh, I should probably not look save, save your money, I reckon. All right, moving on. Wine number two. Uh, where were we at? Where were we at? What's that worth to you guys? How much is that? 60 bucks for me. I had 45. I had 40. What? Stock up. Lots. Stock up. This is good at 35 bucks. This is a bargain. Oh! That is amazing! That is amazing! Steve! Dude! What well on? Dude! Holy shit! Fuck your bottle! I'm grabbing a dozen! I'm grabbing 17! <laughs> yes. I'm you buying a yes. pallet! Right, Give me a pallet! Dude! Renash? Epic! Damn. Yes! I see, I called the next one him. <laughs> I called the next one like the. Yes! Was... That is awesome! That is phenomenal! <laughs> Alright, next one, number three. One number three. Another, we 12, got? another 12 bottles for me. Ooh, I really love I went too. six, 40 bucks. I went six and I said 60 bucks. 45, good. 40, good value. Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, our local dudes are absolutely oh, just smashing, smashing it. it. Good stuff, Jordan. Smashing this it. Is, Who's this? Yeah, Morak. Yeah. Jordan, Jordan Hine, he's probably about our age, maybe a little bit older, That's 25, terrifying. 26. And he has been making wine yeah. for a few years and every year he just keeps getting better and better and better. Definitely one to watch. That is Definitely taste. one to watch. That's an Tasty excellent grape wine. juice. That's, That's an excellent It's wine. a pinot with guts. It's a yeah. pinot with yeah. a bit of attitude. <laughs> Moving on to wine number four. This was like my wine of this lineup. We're torn Agreed. between two wines, Absolutely. but this is definitely one of them. I, I reckon this is a bargain. I reckon this will be a bargain. If this I'm, is a I'm bargain. Hoping Let's it's a bargain. Go. What, a, what do we got? <laughs> oh yes! Shut up! Oh yes. my god! Yes! 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 Oh, it's not from Australia. No, it's not even Aussie. <laughs> it's Beaujolais. <laughs> oh, dude. That's fantastic. Oh, guys, this is actually really interesting. So, um, in terms of like juicy, fun, vibrant Beaujolais, this is a class A example. Um, and in terms of really amazing Grenache, class A example, I'll be chucking that and that. In fact, I'll be chucking the last three definitely in the car yeah. to be able to cross compare what juicy, delicious red wine looks like. Mm. Yeah. All right, moving on to the uh, fifth wine. Where are we at? What do we got, Lockie? 29 bucks. Great worth value. It. Definitely Very worth cheap. it. Definitely, uh, definitely worth it at 29. Ah, oh. thank you. Not a blend. Oh. Could be a blend. Sangiovese, of course. Yeah, if, if it's not if yeah if it's not Pinot, it's not Grenache. It's probably Sangiovese. Um, the tannin on it actually was was yeah. you know pronounced enough to be Sangio. And Sutton Grange. So this Fairbank is Sutton Grange's um, I guess more entry level uh, style of wine. Yep. Sutton Grange wines actually come at a bit of a premium. And the winemaker out at um, Sutton Grange and Fairbank is um, you know incredible incredible uh, lass uh, Mel, and she is phenomenally taking this from strength to strength to strength. So uh, well done. The only white wine 
but what a refreshing one it was. What a white wine. I smelt it and I was like Fiano for days. So if like that is not Fiano, I am very curious to know what it is. What do we got, Lucky? Where are we at? Cool. Great right, bang on. That that does sound like bang on. Uh here we go. What do we got? No, it's not. Oh, what do we got? Is it Chardonnay? Is it? <laughs> no, it's Fiano though, but it's Fiano. Oh, that's really cool, man. Excellent stuff. Yeah, Cambridge, so uh Schmelzer and Brown, um, you know, incredible winemakers, probably uh in terms of like a viticultural mind, um, also uh, probably some of the most, like Tessa Brown is, is one of the most knowledgeable people when it comes to vineyards and viticulture. Really yummy honed Fiano. Excellent, excellent Fiano. That is Fiano. phenomenal. <laughs> Guys, <What's the> lineup? <laughs> this cleans up the lineup for the week. Thanks so much for joining along. Of course, like, subscribe, and jump on the Discord channel for a cheeky little discount offered from Sometimes Always. But until next week, we'll be here. Bye.